hungry is Chase. Chase Outlaw in complete control. There is going to be a lead change, but how big will it be? And how big will Jose Vitor Leme and Cooper Davis have to go? This crowd still waiting. Outlaw is going to start to celebrate 91 and a half. Here we go. Stay hooked. the championship round. There you go. And the only thing better than an outlaw qualified ride is a Chase Outlaw interview. We're probably going to have that coming up. <laughs> and Chase is dealing with some, some injured ribs, and you can see he hit the ground pretty hard there. And 88 and three quarters, partner. Both of them, this is a great, great opportunity to be 90. Outlaw, our first man, two for two. He will move to the overall number one position. And like you mentioned, partner, Chase Outlaw quickly becomes the one to watch. Well, I don't think he's going to be 90, but go. 87 and three quarters. And I usually talk about how the guys got their hands full, but you know what? I think Sandman's got his hand full tonight. Outlaw's the man, and I like watching this guy get it on. Outlaw's going to spin a hole in the ground. That was really the only chance the bull had. The way he was leaping and hanging in that air, he was never going to have a shot to get Outlaw on the ground. The bull switched gears, flattened out. Still, the changeup, nothing for Chase Outlaw. So Outlaw able to put it together. And also what he did right there with 86 points, he's put himself into the top 10 of round number one. Riding over 60% of his bulls. Great job, Chase Outlaw. Doing his job. This week in Kansas City, just knocking one out in this first round sets you up well. Hey everybody, Matt West here. Thanks for watching the PBR's YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to catch all the top moments from the professional bull riders. While you're at it, make sure you download the Ride Pass app and catch all of the PBR action today.